This is tutorial number 111, and it covers the coincidence constraint within CATIA v5. To start off, open up a new product file. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to bring in uh, the parts for this tutorial, and from them we're going to uh, apply the coincidence constraint and bring them together. So to start off, let's bring in these components. So let's click Insert, Existing Component, click the product, and let's bring in 111A click open and this is like our base uh, component and we're going to insert uh, using the uh, coincident constraint we're going to insert some objects into it so now let's bring in these objects so let's click insert existing component with positioning click product A now we'll click 111B and we'll just move it up to the side there click OK Click Insert, Existing Component with Positioning, Product 1, 111C, and just bring it over there, click OK, and bring in one more cylinder. So let's click Insert, Existing Component with Positioning, Product 1, 111A. Oh, wrong one. Let's delete this, and let's bring in, sorry, 111B. And we'll just move it out to the side. Click OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the coincident constraint to bring these guys and snap them kind of into the circle. So one circle into one circle. So let's start doing that. So let's click coincident constraint. And when you place the uh, cursor over these guys, if you have a circle or if you have a uh, circular profile, you're going to get an axis line, and that's what you want to find. So we're going to snap this axis line to this one here. And now you see that we have a constraint between the two. If we click update, it's going to insert it in there. So now let's do the same, but let's do it with this guy here. So do it again. Find that axis, find the axis in here, click update, and you snapped it in. Now we're going to do the same to this guy here. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make two so it kind of rotates this around and puts it in. So we're going to do one at first. So let's click Coincident Constraint, click this axis, and let's try to find this one. So now we got that axis there. Click Update, and it's halfway in. Now let's do one more. So this guy here, this guy here, click Update, and now it snapped it in. So using the Coincident Constraint, you're able to get a cylindrical object inside another cylindrical object. So by using the axes that you're going to find from these circular objects, so as we can snap uh, the axes to another axis, we're able to constrain all these circles in circular objects. So again, any circle that we can find that if it has a circular, uh, it can even be a fillet that you're snapping one fillet to another. But as you can get a circle and snap it into another circle, that's what the coincidence uh, constraint will do. And that concludes our tutorial on the coincident constraint within CATIA v5.